it's kind of comical in one sense because I always joke with people and tell them that, well, two terms or two words that probably should never wind up in the same sentence with each other are boiler and efficiency because there's some misconceptions there. Um, when we start talking about the efficiency of this boiler, you need to understand that there is more than one efficiency to a boiler. Most end users and equipment owners, you, we get caught up in combustion efficiency. That is one type, and that is the characteristics or the flame propagation that occurs based on my fuel and my air. And whenever I look at combustion efficiency, one thing that, that I have to really be concerned about or one way that I can control that efficiency is simply by controlling what my stack temperatures are as they leave the board. Because the lower my stack temperatures are, the higher my efficiencies will calculate out to be. And and I hate to say it, that is one way to, to play a game, you know, from a, from a service standpoint. It's because basically for every 10 to 15 degrees I drop your stack temperature, I gain you about 1% combustion efficiency. But that doesn't necessarily mean that I've, what I've bought and what I've paid for is actually transferred from my flame through the metal into the water out in my process. Now, personally myself, I concentrate more on my thermal efficiency. What am I actually getting for what I'm paying for? Now, whenever you look here, when we're talking about boiler horsepower and its output, that is based off of the ASME um, designation that this boiler is designed roughly for 80% thermal efficiency. That being the case, if for me to get that amount of heat out in BTUs per hour, then that means I'm going to have to purchase a lot more heat that I'm going to lose and I'm going to give up. Now, our objective is going to be able to find ways to prevent that from happening. Now, a boiler ho horsepower can also be rated at 42,000 or approximately 42,000 BTUs an hour input. And if we look here on how many megans of BTUs per hour that we're purchasing, you know, it, it comes out to about 33.4. 30, 